guys. <laughs> I'm in Dubai. Came here last night, went straight to bed because I was so tired. It is now 11 o'clock and I have just been laying in bed all morning, editing, getting work done on the laptop. And I'm now starting to get a little bit hungry. So I'm thinking about going out to the beach and maybe grabbing an acai bowl. Excuse me. It's so weird to be by yourself at a hotel because you're waking up and the first thought I had was like, what am I gonna do? It's not like you can talk to someone else and like plan it together. You kind of have to like do everything by yourself. It's weird, it's scary, not gonna lie, but I feel like it's so good for me. Stepping out of that comfort zone, I was this close to unbooking this flight the night before flying. I had the worst panic attack ever and I... <laughs> I did film myself whilst having it. I can put it here if I'm not cringing too much at it. I couldn't breathe. I guess that was like the worst part because, you know, I was thinking too much about the worst case scenarios and literally like I was so anxious about the whole situation flying here by myself. And it was really bad at the flight. Like I felt super alone as well. But now that I'm here and I'm like settling in at the hotel, I'm like, it's fine. Like I'm literally on a vacation by myself how bad could it be the most important part about this trip for me is to get content for you guys so i will make sure to film every single thing i do i have all the time in the world as well which is so good now that i don't have to like adapt to anyone else i can literally decide what i want to do do you know what i mean <laughs> feeling going to the beach today and kite beach is really my favorite so what I'm gonna do is go there. I know they have a lot of food places as well, which is perfect. Cause I didn't take the hotel breakfast as I was thinking like, I might wanna try different things in Dubai instead of like just going to a buffet, you know? God, can you imagine? We're gonna go swim in the ocean today. <laughs> I did last night when I checked into the hotel was line up all my shoes. Can you imagine? And also I sorted all my skincare and products. It's so satisfying to look at this. I love. Having breakfast at Circle on Kite Beach. I just grabbed a nice latte, acai bowl, and then some extra peanut butter, but they were not joking about the extra like that is so much. Kite Beach is definitely my favorite beach in Dubai because of how nice it is and also it's really calm. Like there's not too many tourists here compared to like JBR Beach. And they have so many food places right at the beach which is amazing. You can just like leave the beach, go up, grab lunch. I'm gonna have breakfast now obviously. And then probably lunch here as well. So good. And now I get to channel and share and transfer all of that energy to each and every single one of you that has made the decision to listen to this. I'm back in the room and I got changed. I'm gonna go train, have a little workout session. Um, I was basically feeling a little bit anxious after like eating my lunch. I don't know what it was. I just felt like a little bit lonely. And cause like I've been all by myself the whole day today it kind of hit me. Um, at around 5 today, I was like, oh my god, it's like kind of fucking boring to be by yourself. He just came back to the room, changed, and I'm now gonna go to the gym because I feel like that will definitely make me feel better. And it's so funny because everyone on Instagram is like, welcome back to Dubai, Diana. We're so happy it worked out for you. And I'm like, because the, the previous the vlog isn't released yet, you guys don't know that I'm first of all by myself and I also didn't move here yet. I just, I'm basically on vacation. Hopefully it just feels like this because it's my first day and it will like feel better like say by tomorrow but right now bro it's i don't know i just feel very anxious anyway i'm 
uncomfortable to accept correction and feedback without offering a justification. When you're in a plank, you can move around, you can try to dodge it, you try and avoid it, but when you're doing a plank properly, you're just experiencing it. If for an uncomfortable conversation, you will feel much better. <laughs> if you postpone it, it will keep eating away. Oh my God. How do you prepare, you ask? You prepare by first saying, what benefits will I get from postponing this? Nothing apart from I don't have to deal with it right now. Now I look a little bit crazy. I decided to go with curly hair tonight and the process looks insane. Hopefully the results are going to be nice though. I'm so happy I went to the gym, you guys. I felt so much better afterwards. Um, and I'm going for dinner in two hours. Dinner and drinks with a friend of mine. And... I'm just grabbing a cup of tea. I'm also in the process of uploading the vlog where I'm basically booking Dubai. Just listening to a podcast about getting comfortable with the uncomfortable and it really resonated with me because I find myself currently in a situation where I'm very uncomfortable even though I want to be in Dubai. The fact that I am like by myself here and I wish I was with Philip it's really made me think of how uncomfortable I actually am right now. But he was talking about the benefits of getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. And even though it doesn't feel great right now, I know that this whole experience is going to give me something that... I wouldn't get if I was just back home being comfortable. It's the same with like when you start a new diet or you start working out. It's not going to feel great at first, but it's about having that vision of what you will get out of it in the end. I thought about the fact that maybe one day I have to move to Dubai by myself. It's not obviously going to happen right now, but it's just been on my mind like what happens if I one day need to do it for my career or for my future, whatever the case is, then this is a good start for me. I'm nearly ready guys, it's 9.30. I should be heading off right now because I'm going downtown. I'm rocking curly, right? But my hair is not really doing it for me with the fringe because it's like, I can't see anything. And if I pull it to the side, it just doesn't look right. So like, what do we do? We don't have a full length mirror in this hotel, which is kind of annoying. So I can't see the whole outfit. I have to stand on the bed. Look at me. Like this. And then I'm able to see my outfit like right there. I am waiting for a taxi to pick me up. It is 2.13. I'm so tired and a little bit drunk, not gonna lie. I'm heading back to my room, drinking lots of water, and then going to bed. I am outside address, and it's gorgeous here. Let me show you around. It's literally like a living room right here. What the hell? If you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. I woke up, did some work, and um, <laughs> was gonna do my skincare. And I look in the mirror and I go, something doesn't look right. Maybe something is so off. And yeah, it definitely was so off. <laughs> Wait, why, why, why do I have acne? I haven't had acne in years. Like, what's going on? I'm sorry. I experienced something similar in Barcelona this summer and I googled and apparently like your skin can get stressed from the heat and the, the sun so I'm gonna assume it's that it's like my skin overproduced oils because it was stressed from the sun I just went for lunch instead of breakfast so I had a Caesar salad and just some coke I'm gonna be blowouting my hair, probably not the best idea because it's so hot in Dubai but I honestly don't feel like my curly hair turns out nice here with the water so I'm gonna risk myself 
Um, what? Why is it so weak? We are heading off to a place called Design District with my friend Honia um, <clears throat> at 3, so I have approximately an hour to get ready. I think I'm just going to do like a blowout and then light makeup. However, I'm going to blow out my hair at the, um, in the room because obviously it doesn't work there. this long black dress I got from Zara with open back because I just wanted to feel like comfortable and pretty in case we do decide to take some pictures today I'm also bringing this back because I thought it's like super funky I don't think it's so appropriate for the weather but who gives a shit I want to wear it I'm gonna wear it plus like, I can fit my camera and everything in it perfectly and for shoes I'm wearing these flip-flops from ASOS there we go. and then I'm bringing these glasses my friend who lives here is gonna show me around which is nice so that's it you guys I'm headed off I'm going to a place called Design District I don't exactly know what it is but me and Honey and my friend are gonna grab lunch and then maybe go for a little shopping Taxi just dropped. Oh my god, I literally thought that was a real animal. <laughs> Taxi just dropped me off in Design District. I am going to meet her up in a restaurant called let's see, Akiba Doi. They apparently have like sushi. If you guys are considering going to Dubai right now, I would say wait because it is still so hot literally 45 degrees this second sad to have lunch and for starter we're having what is it Dynamite. like what exactly is it though it's shrimp with a duck <laughs> it's like dipped in a sauce it's like fried and it's so yummy you guys need to come to this place it's in design district and it's called what is it called Pikadori. Akibadori. Yeah. Main course is here and so you're gonna have to explain again what is it? It's wagyu uh, sushi. Yeah. No, wagyu truffle sushi. With the shrimp. Yeah, and then dynamite sushi. It looks so good. Mm. So good. Mm. Oh I'm currently in Oisho, which is one of my favorite stores. Honestly, the best for like loungewear. And I found this jacket, zip up, like skin tied, very comfortable material. And I just think it would be awesome in Sweden. Um, I don't know. I'm very picky about things I buy nowadays, but I feel like this is definitely something I will wear a lot. I'm back in the hotel room, you guys. Washed off my makeup and my skin is really bad it's not getting any better obviously i put makeup on it what did i expect right but it's so bad it's literally so irritated so red it hurts uh, philip was just calling me on zoom so i'm gonna go on and have a facetime chat with him for a little bit before i go to bed guys so um i will see you tomorrow i guess <laughs> I woke up with better skin, so I was really happy. The texture is now gone. It's still very red, but the texture is gone, which is so good. And I definitely think it was because of the sun. I stayed away yesterday. I'm now just doing my skincare. It is 10 o'clock. And I wanted to just lay in bed and be super lazy today, but I was like, no, let me go up early, early. It's 10. 
but you know what I mean like I'm gonna go up grab a taxi go to Progetto Acai I'm wearing this top from Fendi it's thrifted and then I went with the linen pants I got these from Zara home they're super flowy and comfortable I might be going to the beach after that's why I'm like a little bit versatile you know I could work in this but I could also go to the beach I'm wearing a bikini under um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab a taxi and go to Progetto Acai, eat acai, work on my laptop for a couple of hours, and then maybe go to the beach. My favorite bowl is acai, bananas, peanut butter, and mango. It's so good, guys, you don't understand. And especially here in Progetto Acai on the marina. Just look at that. Are you kidding me? Unfortunately, their coffee machine was broken. I was really craving a nice latte But I might just grab one later when I head to the beach And I know Philip would die to be here right now. I'm gonna take a picture of this and send it to him So good video of this place because he loves it so much while I was working at Progetto Acai the cutest couple ever came up to me to say hi they were from canada inspired by my vlogs to move to dubai i was just so shocked thank you guys so much for coming up to me i really appreciate it it's almost two now and i am making my way to the beach i'm gonna lay around for maybe two hours maximum in dubai you can barely walk five meters without feeling sweaty and disgusting and there are buildings everywhere which make it really difficult to take yourself around so for me to just go from there to like 50 meters is literally gonna take me 20 minutes. I paid for a sunbed because the heat was too extreme for me today. And especially I don't think it's good for me to lay out in the sun because of my skin. It's very damaged. So it was 110 dirhams though, a little pricey, not gonna lie. Probably gonna lay here two to three hours, go dip myself in the ocean sometimes, come back, relax, listen to music, and then I'm gonna go grab lunch afterwards. But it's so nice in the shadow, it's so relaxing. Also, I do have a book with me. Did I bring my book? Yeah, I have a book with me as well. I'm sat at Eat Greek on the JBR, the best Greek food literally ever. I've never tried this salad, but it's with watermelon, cheese, and then I got some bread. Can you guys comment down below if you think I eat too much in my vlogs? Because I feel like I'm doing it a lot, but I also know it helps so many people to overcome like bad relationships with food, just seeing someone eating and not caring so much. Because every time I eat, I vlog it, but then I'm like, is it too much? Comment down below. Mm. I have gotten a parcel from Solotica. Literally my favorite lenses, and once I like run out of them, I always just don't feel like my best self. Because with these, like you really elevate your look. And also they're located in Dubai, Solotica lenses. Um, so the delivery for me took one day because I'm here right now. But either way, like their delivery is super, super fast. So I'm gonna go for dinner, I think dinner at least, or maybe shisha at Hookah and Dubai Mall with Victoria, which is one of my friends. And then she's bringing two friends of hers, which I don't know. That is one golden ochre in my eye. How natural! It's insane! 
insane so natural so beautiful i love i'm obsessed i have a discount code on solotica's website luckily it's diana 10 it will give you a discount once you order your lenses uh, i was like where is the bin literally i'm recording on the bin anyway babes i'm gonna do my makeup and i'm gonna do my makeup um i'll put on a full face of makeup now and then grab taxi go back to Kuka downtown i was about to say like you know what i'm actually not gonna come because i'm so tired from like laying on the beach all day today but then i'm like that you're in dubai you're not you're you're not gonna nap you can nap back in sweden there is no time to waste i want to go to hookah every time i went it's fully booked so i'm gonna go early today it's currently 6 20 and i'm gonna try to be there at 8. a little bit of music please <laughs> Not me being an absolute adult, I renew my clothes. Um, I wouldn't actually, but this one is like, it's like a long kimono almost, and it just looks very cheap if it's not iron, because it's linen, so I just had to iron it. And this is what I want to wear because I'm going to Dubai Mall, and like, if I do end up having a brows after, I want to feel comfortable, because it's like, Dubai Mall is the only place in Dubai that's like super modest, like you have to actually dress modest. I really want to get into wearing a bias when I'm in Dubai. So if you guys have any suggestions of like places I can buy nice a bias, can you please comment? Oh my god, it's gonna take so long. I've never gotten ready so quickly and I'm actually kind of happy with my makeup. Not my hair so much. I don't know. I feel like it's frizzy and just... I should have probably brought like a curling iron or something. <laughs> I'm wearing this long... What is it called though? It's from Massimo Dutti. It's made out of linen. I love how Victoria told me to like not dress up. She was like, Dana, super casual. Everyone's literally not wearing makeup. And then your girl pulls up like this. I'm sorry, but like your girl got to take advantage of every single content situation she gets. I find it funny when my friends are like, Dana, it's super chill. Like don't dress up. Because for me, anytime I go out, even if it's just chill dinner, I just see it as a opportunity for me to look cute and dress up and even if I can't take a picture or vlog it. I actually think I might just grab my big camera with me and even vlog with it if I do end up vlogging because I want to take shots, I want to take pictures. I'm not bothered to bring both my vlogging camera and this big one. So I'll probably just take this one, vlog with it, the food and everything. I don't think I'm going to be like talking so much in the vlog because obviously like I don't really know the other girls and it's just a bit weird but I will obviously show you guys the view if we end up sitting outside and the food and stuff but in this case I'm only going to be bringing my big camera guys the lip gloss I'm wearing I got it recently from Kylie Cosmetics because we got it in Sweden this one is called Lost Angel and it's basically kind of similar to the Fenty Sweet Mouth one obviously Fenty better quality in my opinion lasts much longer but this one's like a tad bit lighter which i find super cute very brats vibes so i'm bringing that with me i hate this face mask i literally destroyed your whole makeup okay guys all ready to leave the room and i try to open whatsapp where literally me and victoria messages each other and the app just doesn't work and i'm like i don't know how to contact her and i'm obviously not gonna go downtown look for her no it's literally not working and this never ever happened before it's so strange like i'm just about to leave i'm even gonna get late i tried to message her on instagram i don't think she's got the notifications on so she's not opening it i hate when shit like this happens i cannot stand it Why is this happening right now? I don't get it. Guys, I'm filming with my big camera. Hopefully the quality is okay. I'm at Dubai Mall right now. I need to go all the way up. And then Hookah is basically 
you can sit in or out but the view is of the fountain and i've wanted to go for so long but i just haven't gotten around so i'm there very soon <laughs> fun time last night at hookah i came back to my room at about 1 a.m and went straight to bed woke up this morning feeling so refreshed so good and like not me making my bed at a hotel room having room service like they will clean it later but i'm just that bitch that will literally make my bed anywhere i go um so i feel amazing today i woke up in the best mood ever feel so happy feel really refreshed feel good about being in dubai today um and i am craving because yesterday at hookah hookah is basically a part of dubai mall i was like walking through dubai mall to get to hookah and i was like oh my god like i really want to go to dubai mall so bad um haven't had the chance yet so i just figured let's go today um i'm not really a fan of laying out in the sun lately i don't know what it is we have a little situation because i haven't booked my flight home to sweden and i was like should i just book it tomorrow because i found a good flight um or should i still until sunday or should i just extend it like a whole week i don't really know i have to see with that but for now let's get dubai mall over with i'm gonna go early grab my coffee have a browse through the whole department through the whole mall literally if i want to buy something i'll buy something if i want to spend my coins i will and later at 8 p.m tonight we have a reservation at a restaurant called madina so we're gonna be going there with a couple of friends which is fun so i'll just go like dubai mall early so i can come home like stay around what three four i'll be back in my room and like take a shower get some work done you know refresh and then go for dinner tonight i don't wear any makeup because i'm gonna be browsing dubai mall with a face mask so there's literally no point i just put my chanel tan de soleil on a little bit of it because it's like giving me that sun-kissed glowy look that's gonna be enough for me i'm really excited about life today i don't know what it is guys my mood is so good i i feel happy i feel I just feel like this trip was obviously a bit like uncomfortable for me at first but I feel like it's really done amazing as in I found so much clarity in what I want to do with my life I felt so lost in Sweden I was like not with my life oh my god it sounds so big but I felt a bit lost in Stockholm because once me and Philip moved in together in Stockholm I kind of actually liked it it wasn't that bad now that I came back to Dubai I really find that it's just the place for me like so I can't help it. We need to move here. So I feel like it's given me so much clarity and you know, it's just been good. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna be putting on some perfume and I have been obsessed with Killian Lily, the brand, the whole just so good, they last forever, and this is good girl gone bad. It's <laughs> One thing I've learned from Zara in Dubai is it's so expensive compared to Europe but I couldn't help myself coming in here because the variety and the stuff they have is just so much more than back in Sweden. You have this pair of denim, I found this cute lilac leathery top and then oh my god I'm so excited about these pants guys. They're like a flowy mocha pants. I think they're gonna be so cute in Sweden for fall. If I do end up liking the things, I can just take the code and then just buy them once I get back home. But if I can't help myself, I might just pick them up today. I think this top has matching pants, but I couldn't find them in this store. I'm gonna look online, but I think it's so, so cute. And then the pants look like this. However, I actually expected them to be a bit more oversized. This is a size medium, but I assume it's not an oversized vibe. This is what they look like. I don't like the fact that it has the split end. I found it online. It has matching pants. Such a sick outfit. I might just want to order it and get it back home in Sweden with the pants because I couldn't find them in the store. We have this pair of pants with holes on the side. <laughs> it's horrible, you guys. 
I'm sorry, but what is that? Like, I don't know why I even picked it up. This is so not me. Lastly, I picked up this black long dress. It's a halter neck style. Very good quality. I'm a bit shocked this is Zara. I don't know if it's a thing. Zara in Dubai being better than Sweden. I don't get it. Um, I never find pieces like this in Sweden. Guys, I'm back from Dubai Mall and I am currently doing my makeup because I'm gonna go to dinner. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> Maybe because she's sipping, I don't know. I ended up buying zero stuff at Dubai Mall. I literally walked around for like six hours, right? Found nothing, bought nothing. Came back here, I was so tired from walking around. Dubai Mall is huge, so like 10K steps for me. I've just been laying in bed and it's now 5.30. I have dinner at eight with my friends, um, but I am getting ready very early today because I want to take pictures. I need to take pictures. I haven't gotten so much content from Dubai. I'm either going to go home tomorrow. I haven't booked it yet, but it's it's leading towards that. Or if I don't end up going home tomorrow, I'm going to end up going home on Saturday, which is in two days. And either way, I will not be vlogging tomorrow. So this part of the video is actually going to be the end of the vlog. Um, I have so, so, so much to talk about um, regarding how I felt throughout the solo trip. You know, obviously going here by yourself is very different. I've never traveled alone, so I have a lot to say and talk about, but I feel like we should save that for a video once I get back. We can just like really chat about it. Overall, this trip has been very good as in I have gotten so much clarity and I've also been able to spend time by myself, reflect on my feelings, reflect on, you know, what I want to do and just get a different perspective of life because I felt a bit stuck in Stockholm. Can we discuss the fact that I haven't been wearing this much makeup in about six months for real? Like, I'm wearing full on lashes, eyeshadow, you name it. I literally did everything. Because I was like, do you know what? It might be my last night in Dubai and so I might as well just go have on my makeup. I don't care and I look like Dana six months ago this is this outfit i feel a bit too tennessee sporty vibes and maybe it's like a little too short and like what shoes do we wear with this it's given me i'm gonna go to the beach you know with this skirt it's cute but it's like not night out shall i just go with the top and matching pants you know so cute but i might get really bloated that's the only thing but what a vibe let's try let's try I'm gonna get so so bloated because I might be drinking and eating like lots of lots of food. So I don't think it's an option. But it's cute. It's so cute, you guys. Should I just pull up like this? Who gives a shit? She can be fierce. It's her last night. <laughs> Let's see what shoes I should wear with this. So I don't wanna wear heels because that's gonna be way too much. Like personally. But this is not working at all. Like, I'm sorry. I just. This is not acceptable, right? <laughs> no, this is not acceptable. You don't wear sandals on a night out in Dubai. You just don't do that. What if I end up in a nightclub until 5 a.m.? Who knows? How about this? Skirt, heels, baggy t-shirt. We're cash, but we're cute. This really is an option though, because like, I'm comfy as well. But it's not Dubai vibes. Like, what is Dubai vibes? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> never been this bad. Like, I've never been this indecisive. Actually, I am every day. But you know what I mean? Like, it's probably really cute. I'm just like overthinking everything right now. It's like, what do we do? I decided to just go with leather skirt, PLT. T-shirt is from ASOS. And then I'm wearing by far heels, pink ones. I don't know if it goes, but honestly, it's just what it is. Like, I can't be bothered anymore. My friends are going to pick me up in five minutes. So I'm just going to put on perfume and then head downstairs. I'm going to go for Baccarat Rouge 540 tonight. This is one of those perfumes I will put on when I want to feel luxe. When I want to basically tell people to fuck off. But not really because it's so sweet and just pretty um, but it's one of those ones where it's like when I pull this one out it's a special event Dubai is a special event I guess this place is stunning just look and there's even a fountain let me show you there's so many cars passing but as you can see it's stunning okay, yeah.
It's Friday the next day. We had so much fun last night. Came home, did a vlog, uh, went straight to bed, and then woke up today. I had a delivery from a beautiful subscriber. She had sent these lovely abayas from her own brand. It's called SSA Wear. This is the label. And I was just so obsessed. Guys, I really want to dress more modest. Once I actually come back to Dubai to live here, voila, this is all I will be wearing. Because first of all, it's so comfortable. Second of all, it's gorgeous. You look very luxurious. You look like a woman, like so elegant. I was just obsessed. I had to show you guys. So like it's a double satin material, super soft and flowy, gorgeous color. Like oh, I'm obsessed. And look at those sleeves. Like creds to her. It's wow. I can make sure to put her Instagram down below if you guys are in the UAE or maybe she even like ships worldwide. She also sent over the same style but in brown instead and then the sleeves look a little bit different. I'm gonna go home today, right? And once we were out yesterday i was speaking to my friends and they're like diana are you stupid like you just came and like even though you feel a bit lonely like you're gonna have to get used to it because literally like dubai is quite lonely guys don't get it twisted like i don't have my friends here i just figured i might as well just stay today and then if i do end up leaving it's gonna be like either tomorrow or on sunday or next week i really don't know you guys it's so weird I'm in just like a weird mindset right now. Like I really want to stay, but I'm also like I have responsibilities. I need to go back home. Like I Philip is waiting for not waiting, but like you know he's by himself, which is kind of sad for him. Um, and have collaborations. I need to take out parcels. That's waiting for me in Stockholm. It's just a whole lot. But uh, my heart just belongs in Dubai, you guys. Literally, this is home to me, and it feels so good to be here whenever i'm here i literally feel in peace it just gives me so much comfort and i feel like it's because it's middle east it reminds me so much of kurdistan where like i'm originally from i used to live there when i was a child so it just reminded me so much of home sweden has always been a place like obviously i'm born and raised there and i love sweden so much because i have my family my friends everyone's there but it's just never given me that comfort and safe feeling i always feel very anxiety filled it's so weird i cannot explain it like i cannot explain it once i came to dubai yeah i felt a bit lonely but like i never felt the same kind of anxiety that i always feel in sweden <laughs> it's so weird um anyway you guys today's plans i'm obviously gonna stop the vlog here but i just want to let you know my friend amir which was also philip's boss back in the days he ended up being such a good friend of ours um he's coming to pick me up we are gonna go grab a lunch have a chat and then he's gonna take some photos of me with this uh with these abayas i figured he can help me because girl like i'm by myself so i literally have to all the time when i take pictures i like put up my tripod and like you know it's a mess so that's gonna be happening if i do end up staying like say a week obviously there's going to be another weekly vlog but if not then this is going to be the end of this vlog and then next one will be from stockholm i want to thank everyone for watching and taking your time i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video okay love you so much